it's story time for Serena. The story we're reading today is The Frog with the Big Mouth, retold by Teresa Bateman and illustrated by Will Terry. Once there was a frog who lived in the rainforest by Iguazu Falls, where Argentina meets Brazil. He was a young frog, a new frog, a barely more than a pollywog frog, who was more mouth than body and brain, and still had much to learn. One day, while he was eating with his family, he caught a big fly, a huge fly, an enormous fly. Look at that huge big fly. Oh, that is an enormous fly. He opened his mouth wide, wide, wide and gulped it down. Oh. Look at me, he cried with a braggy bounce. I'm the frog with the big mouth. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. Don't you wish you were me? His brothers and sisters shrugged and kept on eating. Look at the brothers and sisters. Oh, they're not impressed by this braggy big mouth. There's the fly's wing hanging out of this froggy's mouth. And there, on this one, I can see the fly's feet and wings. Ooh, yucky. So, the frog with the big mouse set out to find someone else to impress. Soon, he caught sight of something with a bright orange bill and feathers. Then, two eyes opened up above the orange bill and blinked at him. Hello, I'm the frog with the big mouth, the frog said with a happy hop. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. It's clear I've got the other frog's beat. Who are you and what do you eat? Well, said the bird, I am Toko Toucan. I eat fruit and eggs and sometimes seeds. A tasty spider suits my needs. I don't chase flies, big ones or small. No, flies don't interest me at all. Too bad, too bad, said the frog with the big mouth. Don't you wish you were me? And he continued down the path. Suddenly, a creature with a narrow triangular nose peeked out of a bush and sniffed at him. It had small ears, a furry body, and a long, long striped tail. The frog was a little nervous, but that didn't stop him. Hello, I'm the frog with the big mouth, he said with a little leap. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. I've got frogs and the toko toucan beat. Who are you and what do you eat? The furry creature climbed up a nearby tree. I am a coatie. I eat fruit and termites, sometimes mice. Roots and lizards are also nice. I tried flies once, if I recall. Now flies don't interest me at all. Too bad, too bad, said the frog with a big mouth. Don't you wish you were me? He continued along the path, looking for others to amaze. Soon he came to a pond. A head poked out of the water. Then a big brown furry creature pulled himself onto the shore. Hello! I'm the frog with a big mouth, said the frog with a jubilant jump. 
I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. I've got frogs, toko toucan, and koti beet. Who are you? And what do you eat? The animal shook a little water from his fur. I'm a capybara. I eat leaves and plants that grow in water. Grass and such are my favorite foods. I don't eat flies, big ones or small. No, flies don't interest me at all. Oh, too bad, too bad, said the frog with the big mouth. Don't you wish you were me? By now, the frog was getting tired, but he kept hopping along, wanting to brag just a little more before heading home. Then he stopped. In the path, something moved. It was speckled and twisty and blocking his way. He hopped over the twitchy thing and followed it until he came to a furry spotted body and a large head that turned to look at him. The strange creature smiled, showing sharp teeth, but that didn't stop the frog. Hello, I'm the frog with a big mouth, he said with a saucy skip. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. I've got frogs, toko toucan, koti and capybara all beat. Who are you and what do you eat? The creature stood, stretched and his tail twitched faster. I'm a jaguar, he purred. Coaties and toucans are nice to chew and I eat capybaras too. I don't eat flies, big ones or small. No, flies don't interest me at all. But my favorite type of chow is big mouthed frog and here's one now. The frog with the big mouth gulped and without thinking took a stupendous spring high, high, high over the jaguar's head and into a nearby tree. Look at me, he cried. I'm the frog with the big jump. Don't you wish you were me? He leaped from the branch, hurrying home to tell his brothers and sisters and anyone else along the way. And off he goes home, the frog with the big mouth. He really is a braggy fellow. Nobody was really impressed with everything that he had to say. Did you enjoy that story? Do you know any really braggy people? It's not always nice to be braggy, is it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the time we spent together. There'll be another story soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, Serena. Mwah.